Hi, my name is Jesse. Some people call me Jesse the Juggler. When I was 11, a friend taught me how to juggle. I was so fascinated with this cool hobby that I wanted to learn it myself, so I made him show me the steps. And I'd like to show you the steps right now, too. Now remember, just like anything else, it takes a lot of patience and practice. You're not going to be able to do it perfectly at first. In fact, I messed up a lot when I started learning how to juggle. So, just be patient and practice. And here's the first step. It helps to take a soft bean bag of some sort. Some people also like to use a, uh, a grocery bag from the store. I rip the handles off so it doesn't get caught in your fingers. And that floats, kind of like a scarf. So if you like to try this, that's a slower movement in the air. But I'm going to show you using the bean bags. So you start with one in your strong hand. Doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed, it depends. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to start with my left hand. And I throw it from my left hand to my right hand with an arch that goes just over my forehead back and forth. You learn how to throw it back and forth. And that's pretty easy. Most people can do this right away. And try not to follow it too much with your head. You want to keep your head straight in front of you because you're eventually going to have more balls in the air in front of you. So use your peripheral vision and just catch the ball, throwing it from one hand to the other. Now, to do two balls, the big no-no, and everybody does this, most people do it when they start with two balls, is the circle. You don't want to juggle them in a circle. It's not going to help you get to what's called the cascade pattern. The cascade pattern is going to look like this with two balls back and forth. Now, the way to learn that is do your first throw just like you did before. And while it's in the air, you're going to throw the second ball underneath it to the same height, like that. You want to learn how to do that from one side of your body as well as from the other side of your body. So practice that motion starting with your strong arm. And then practice it starting with your weak arm back and forth. It helps a lot of people to let them fall to the ground sometimes. That way you don't have to worry about trying to catch them, too. You're just learning how to throw the balls. One, two. And one, two. Practice that over and over and over again. Eventually, you might even want to try to get one catch, let the other one fall, and then the same the other direction. Let's do it that way, like this. Now, to do three balls, you have to put two in your strong hand and one in your weak hand. It's OK to go the other way around if you like, but that's the way I do it. And you start with the ball that is farthest away from you in your two ball hand. So I'm going to start with this ball right here. And then I'm going to throw this ball. And then I'm going to throw that ball. It's going to look like this. One, two, three. Now, it's like the infinity symbol. If you can see that, that pattern, it's like a figure eight lying down on its side. And the way to learn this pattern is just to try to get three catches. Go one, two, three. And if you can't do that right away, which most people can't, just try to get one catch and throw the other two in the pattern. Let them fall. Intentionally let them fall. And then try to get two catches. One, two, three. And then try to get three catches. One, two, three. That's called a flash. If you can get up to six catches or more, that's called a juggle. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are now officially a juggler. So be patient and practice.